Hey, how's it going, folks? Welcome back to Night in the Woods. So after a disastrous party in the woods, um, I guess May has slept off her hangover from two watered-down beers. So let's uh, let's see what this day has in store for May Borowski. Well, that was a weird one. I feel awful. I probably look awful. Ugh. I'm gonna burn this room down. With me in it. Live out my remaining days as a shrieking ghost. Yep. Wouldn't your days be over if you were a shrieking ghost? May. Thought, never drink again or go in public. Blah blah, dumb shit. Everything feels bad. <laughs> Thought, become a fire ghost and yell at people? What was that from? I guess Demon Tower? Alright, let's get online and let's see what everyone's saying about me. Hey. Sorry about last night. Hope you're feeling okay. Um. Yep. I'm at the pickaxe all day, if you want to stop by. Hey, dude. You okay? Last night was pee intense. B said you're okay. I'm a snack falcon all day. Come by if you're not dead. Sincerely, Gregory. P.S. Ban jam later. OMG. The end. What's up, Sharkle? Hi. 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 <laughs> All right. So for this route, you can take one of two routes. Uh, you can either hang out with B or Greg for most of the game, and each one takes you down like a different route. And I think you get like a slightly different ending, but not really. So we're going to go with B on this one because usually I go with Greg because he's like the fan favorite or whatever. But I think I'll go with uh, B this time. Afternoon, us. God, this thing is intense. Weird how big clocks are like luxury furniture now. Since everything has a clock and internet on it. Like, having something big that only does one thing is like... a statement or something. Wonder how old this thing is. Sup, bird? This bookshelf is like the ghost of Grandad. Hanging out in the corner. Maybe not his ghost. Like his skeleton. Uh, okay, I just made myself sad. Why did I come over here? Hmm, oh, hmm. There's like... something written inside this book cover. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. Is this like... what is this? Thought. Come back to life, Grandad. Aww. Why did she add a D to Grandad? Oh, I guess... I guess it is two Ds in it, huh? Two Ds nuts. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Here it is. The Floating Island and Other Stories. Granddad didn't read out of this. He, like, recited it from memory. And made stuff up on top of that. Stuff up on top of that. <laughs> to get me to sleep when I was a kid. Miss you, dude. The Floating Island 
Jeez. I'm old. 20 is not old. May? Yeah? Come say hi. Okay. Hey, hon. You look like crap. Yep. Rough night. Is it that obvious? No, I was just saying you look like crap because I love you. Thanks. If you want to talk about it. I saw Cole at a party in the woods. From senior year? Yeah, he was home from school for the weekend. Did you talk to him? Kind of? Sort of? I don't know. Well, he's a jerk, hon. No, he's not. Or he wasn't. I don't know. Anyway. Looks like most of the repair workers have cleared out of town center. Finally. Yeah, they're all done with the Churchill steps. And the power lines. Great. Hon, I do not want you up on those things. Mom, I'm 20. Uh-huh, which means you go to jail for it. No one is going to jail for running around on the power lines. They'd never catch me. Your Aunt Molly catches you up there. There's no telling what she'll do. Did I tell you I saw her yesterday out front? Really? Yeah, she was being all weird and cryptic. I don't know, everything's fuzzy today. And anyway, it's dangerous. You remember Susie Kushner? Gee, Mom, I sure don't. I've definitely never heard this story a thousand times. Fried, honey. The paper used the word fried. Now she can't use adjectives. She lost an entire part of speech. Gee, Mom, that's terrible. See, that's the exact kind of sentence Susie can't formulate. So, what are you up to today? I don't know. Gonna go see what Greg and B are up to. You all gonna go do something together? I don't know. I don't think they hang out much. Past messing around with our old band equipment. Well, there are only so many hours and so many days in our lives. Is there some bug going around that makes people talk like fortune cookies? Is there some bug going around that makes you keep saying, I don't know, May Borowski? <laughs> That's all you've been saying is, I don't know, I don't know. Friendships are like trees. Uh-huh. You have to water them so they grow. And we each have only so much water. Have you ever watered a tree? No, God does that. Okay, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. What you reading? Book about a guy who grew up secretly living on a fishing ship. Living in a barrel, eating raw fish, crabs, octopus, squid, lobsters, gulls, albatross. Wow. Sharks, dolphins, sea cucumbers, seaweed, sand, rocks, kelp. But that's the same as seaweed, I think. Wow. <laughs> Ropes, sails, one of the boats, the rigging, sailor shoes, sailor hats. Sailor pants, sailor shirts, sailor underwear, clean. Wow. Fishing line, fishing nets, fishing poles. Jeez, he was well fed. I'll say he ate an entire boat. Several dugongs? What is that? And a manatee. Which are 
different, you know? Uh, okay, I guess they're similar to manatees. I did know that. And that's a list of everything he ate. How do you eat fishing line? The crews thought the boat was haunted, but nope, just the Barrel Boy. What's the book called? Barrel Boy? Oddly enough, I now want fish sticks. I know, right? I'll have your father bring some home. Have a nice day, sweetie. Alright. So we got to hear about Barrel Boy. I'm surprised she didn't write anything down about that. So I think there's still construction over here. Yep. But the power lines and the church are accessible now. So let's go check that out. See what else uh, the town has. Hey, May. Hey, Selmers. Did I see you with a journal the other day? Oh, yeah. Doctor's orders. Yeah, Dr. Hank has me doing one, too. Oh, okay. Did you have anger problems, too? I was stealing painkillers from the Ham Panther Pharmacy. Oh, geez. So, Dr. Hank sees journals as a general cure-all. Is it working for you? Nope. Rehab and the program do, though. And I've become a very good poet. Want to hear one? Yeah. My heart is... A dankness. But when I see you, I feel a thankness. Wow, that's really nice. When I feel a blueness, all I need is a Eunice. That's very romantic. Isn't Eunice a name? <laughs> it's about my horse. Oh. We're just friends. Mr. Chazikov's up on the roof again. Pretty sure he's gonna break his damn neck. Ta-da! It's Selmers, a poet. Alright, let's go say hey to Mr. Chazikov. If he falls through one of my windows, I will not hesitate to take legal action. Who? Him. Up there on the roof next door. If he falls from that roof through a window, you're going to have to pick which part of him you're going to sue. Whichever piece is biggest. I can hear you, you know. I don't remember inviting you up here. Sorry. This is awful familiar of you. All right, let's go say hey to Mr. Chazikov. Oh, I can't jump on that window, Sill. We'll have to go the long way around. May Borowski. You could have knocked on the door down there. Impolite to be on other people's roofs. Next time, I'm gonna call the cops. Whatever. <laughs> At any rate, I'm glad you have accepted my invitation. What are you doing anyway? Hunting dusk stars. Dusk stars is the name of my shoegaze band. Really? No. It is music of looking at shoes? With a lot of reverb. Why are we talking about shoes? I forget. Want to have a look? Yeah. Excellent. So we get to do some stargazing while the sun's still out. Holy crap, my eyes! Oh, you want to put the filter on like so. Jeez! The sun is bright. Make you blind. 
You didn't think to mention this? I just did. <laughs> okay, so I guess there's a filter that you can put on telescopes. So we gotta look for some constellations. Found one. Let me have a look. Ah, yes. Dor, the murderer. Okay, I'm interested. Dor passed Bairn, the king's procession on the street. Dor passed Bairn, the king's... Okay, so Bairn is the king. <laughs> I had to, like, process that sentence. Dor was quiet and said nothing, and the king took offense to this. Why? Royalty is strange. So, what happened? Baron insulted Dor, Dor's family, Dor's village, and so on. Until he was down to insulting Dor's chickens. Chickens are kind of awful. Weird, horrible, angry dinosaurs. They peck each other's eyes out. They are delicious. They deserve to be delicious. Dor first murdered Bairn's chickens, then his ancestral village, then his family. Holy crap. And when he came to Bairn, the king was silent. I'm going to get a tattoo of this guy. Is Dor a hero? I don't know. But it doesn't really matter, I think. Like, if you've been told you're nothing before, a story like this sounds pretty okay. Well, it is a true story, and real people died. And you should feel terrible. Seriously? Behehe. <laughs> Alright, let's look for another constellation. Oh, we're getting close to one. Let's go back this way. Found one, I think. Let me have a look. Ah, yes. Castis. What's Castis? This star tells the story of a woman who built a tower to heaven. And for this, the gods sunk her deep into the sea. Wow, that screwed up. But even in the depths, she refused to die. Damn, straight. Oh, will you never die as well? I guess someday. I don't know. The gods in these stories are only stand-ins. For things we cannot control. You might say floods, or the cancer, or such. No to all of them. This is fair. I believe we have seen both stars visibly today, or both stars that are visible today. Oh, really? They come and go so fast. That was pretty great. We can look again in two days' time. Will you be back? Yeah, if I remember. Oh, you will be. No one can resist the stars forever. That's spooky, Mr. Chazakov. Behehehe. <laughs> Alright, so we got some new drawings in our journal. She doesn't really write anything. She just draws her thoughts and stuff. So we got Dor and Castis. I think I'm saying Castis right. Castis. Alright. Let's explore some more. See what else we can find on these rooftops. 
Can I jump all the way over here? Oh, I can. Wow. <laughs> Alright, let's go this way. Eh. Gotta get my platforming skills back. Wonder if I can get on top of that. No? Alright, so we can now go explore the church area that's that way. Wow, construction's finally done. Stairs is open for business. Wonder what's going on up there. Let's go find out. Alright, so we can go inside the church here. I wonder if Mom's going to be at work because she works here at the church. Yep, there she is. Hey, hon. Hey, Mom. Wow, it's been a while since I was in here. I know, sweetie. Nice to see you in the building, at least. Did you meet the new pastor? Nope. Oh, she's around somewhere. Might be outside. She likes to go on walks. Cool, cool. I might bump into her. So, how's church working? Good. Answering the phone. Entering data of various sorts. I'm trying to get everything into one unified app thing. You know they make programs just for church administration? I didn't. I was watching online tutorials for the one we just got, but I just got distracted by true crime videos. Mom, I do declare you are slacking off at work. God will forgive me. Alright, sweetie. I better work. <laughs> I better read this true crime novel. Alright, so that's all that's in the church. Let's go outside and see if we can run into this new pastor lady. Her name is Pastor Lady. <laughs> pastor Lady, do you have a moment? So we got a drawing just by looking at this statue here. Pastor K.W. Young, Sunday services, 7 to 9 a.m. All are welcome. Bingo, 7 p.m. Tuesday. Uh, transform Youth Ministry, 7.30 Friday. That's cool. That's hip. Transform. Um... <laughs> <clears throat> You warm enough at night? Yeah, you know I get by. Well, I'm working on something to help you out. Ah, uh, you don't have to tr uh, go to any trouble. I'm alright. That's good. Gonna get cold soon. I can get you some blankets for now. For some reason, we have a lot of blankets. That'd sure be a blessing. Well, we bless best with what we already have too much of anyway. Hehe. <laughs> and we got blankets. Ha ha ha. Hey! Hey! You're Candy Borowski's daughter, right? Yep. Who are you? I'm Kate, but you can call me Pastor K. That's like way more syllables. You're new here, right? 16 months? Something like that. Oh, new to me at least. This over here is Bruce. 
Hey. Hey. Bruce is new to our community. Do you live in the woods? <laughs> he just glances over to his tent over there. Yep. But not for long. We're working on fixing that before winter gets here. Gonna take some doing, but God's a doer. And they are bigger than city council. Still thinks it's a lot of trouble to go to. Listen, nobody said loving your neighbor would be easy. And you are our neighbor. Our actual neighbor. I appreciate it. We all need a little help sometimes, Bruce. No shame in hard times. Well, it was nice meeting you both. Come up and see me at the church sometime. I will. I'll be up to visit my mom anyway. See you later, Bruce. Okay, nice to meet you, Mary. May. May Borowski. Bruce. Just Bruce. Pastor. Pastor Kate. <laughs> Pastor Kate's cool. Pastor K. Bruce. These would all make very fine stick and poke tattoos. <laughs> all these journal entries. I always wanted to climb the water tower, but then that one kid died doing that. Whatever. I'll get to it. Probably see clear to brittle from here. Or from there. Ugh, I need to get some some coffee. I've been reading a lot. Ugh, throat's getting dry. Let's see what's out this way. Nothing. Bunch of graffiti. Alright, let's go back into town. And we have access to the rooftops now, so we can hop on that telephone pole and access all that. So yeah, as you can see, these um, episodes might be a little bit longer from here on out because there is a lot more stuff to explore throughout the day. And, um... Yeah. For some reason, my file sizes on these um, videos is, like, super huge until I, like, render them down to the final product. So I don't know what that's all about. But... It's all good, though. I think I have enough storage space. <laughs> uh, how do I... Can I not get on that ledge? Come on. Oh, wait. Hold on. What? I can't... I can't get up there? Come on, May. You got this. Maybe I have to backtrack. Hey, be quiet, dog. Oh, who's that sitting up there? Alright, so we can go in this window. Wow, so this is where this stuff ended up. I remember the spring parade. It was so much fun. Until the year that Mallard P. Bloomingro snapped his tether and ran over Chris Evans. <laughs> then they canceled the parade. Cowards. They couldn't cage Mallard. Mallard needed to be free. And neither ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back. I wonder what happened to both of them. After the parade uh, got canned, there wasn't much going on in the spring. 
But we still did the Easter basket blessing at the church. And ate special pretzels. We didn't bother to bless those. Profane pretzels. Oh my god, these flowers are fake as hell. Mallard deserves a better memorial. It's locked. What the hell? This is a fire hazard. Oh my god! Mallard! What have they done to you? Mallard forever. Mallard pea bloom and grow. Bloom and grow. Like bloom and grow, I guess. It's a funny play on words. One of my absolute favorite things when I was a kid. Proudest of the spring parade floats. Dude, this is a tomb. This is Mallard's tomb. Mallard. Dear dead Mallard. You were my favorite anything when I was a kid. I ran to the spring parade to see you. You were like a big beaky dinosaur. Mallard, you're still... Amazing forever. Oh, Mallard. Probably left here by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Forgotten. But I found you. And I know you're here. And still a springtime terror. I'll keep you a secret, Mallard. But I'll visit. Mallard! You're pregnant! It's one of those God things. Like when you have a baby because God. <laughs> Holy crap. You are the cutest vermin. Who's the best vermin? You are. You look so hungry. Is that why you're, um, not doing anything? I'll come back with food. Don't die. <laughs> They're probably scared because I'm a cat. Oh, we got a drawing. Miracle rats. So we can't exit. No, seriously. Is this thing... Is this thing is clearly marked as something it is not? Huh, that's... Is that supposed to be like that? I guess that's like a typo. I'm coming back for you, exit door. And we're gonna have a little chat with my boot. Worst exit, easily. Alright, let's get out of here. And... Oh, can I go downstairs? No. Alright, let's get out of here and see if we can find some food for the rats 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 we're the rats I know where I can get some food for these rats down in the tunnel oh hey the fisherman guy's back many miners old and young with home and heart and coal and lung were taken by the trolley men up to the mine and back again but mudslide flood and awful storm have given tunnel fishes home home please stop listening honey i'm horm <laughs> I can't believe they've kept this open. Historical note, I guess. 
I think it's just because the old people like the pierogi stand. Never underestimate the ability of old people to get state funding. I bet some rad babies would love a delicious pretzel. <clears throat> okay, 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 May. You're only gonna get one shot at this. Just gotta freeze when he looks over. Even if you're holding a pretzel. No movement. It's simple psychology. You've done this before. You've still got it. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, go. <laughs> so this is how you steal. Just freeze whenever they look at you. <laughs> look how round May is now. <laughs> She's taking up the whole screen. Oh crap, I moved right at the last second. Hey. Hey. Can I try again? Dang it! I can't try again. Alright. Well, we failed at that. <laughs> oh, hello. Hey, it's May. I remember. Old clock upstairs ain't stopped yet. Uh, what did you want to tell me about Granddad? Well... I'll only say if you really want to know. Is it scandalous? Oh, I don't think so. I'm old enough that nothing feels scandalous anyway. Is that a thing that happens when you get old? <laughs> Depends on the life you've led. Okay, anyway. You got a history of troublemakers in your family. On your daddy's side in particular. Oh? Go back far enough, you got folks that were around for the real hard times. When the workers went up against armies. Oh yeah, I kind of remember something about that. Great, 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 great grandpa or whatever. Might have gotten the number of greats wrong there. Your grandfather and I weren't around for a lot of the violence. That was before even our time. Nah, we were around to watch the tide roll out. And? We'll need to talk another time. I get tired. Oh, okay. Can I get you anything? I don't have any money. No, I'm just fine, May. We'll talk another time. Okay, see you. Can I really not try this again? Man. Alright, let's go... Let's go back up here on the roof. Because I wanted to talk to whoever was sitting up there. Just got to jump around, jump around the long way again. Uh, I think it was, wait, hold on. Did I go too far? Yeah, this way. And then I guess we can keep going. Yeah. Let's do the triple jump. It's all coming back to me now, like... Oh! Barely made it. Having to remember how to navigate the town. Can I get up there? Hey. Hey, it's you. It's me. I'm gonna sit. Legs are killing me. Yeah, it's a hike to get up here, right? I'm just getting old. 20 years. You're like all the way old. 
How old are you? 15 in February. I used to hang out here after school. Really? Most kids don't come all the way up here. Haha, <laughs> that's why it's so nice. Better than being at home. Where do you live? Chestnut Street. Oh, okay. Out by the tracks. Yeah, guess I'm not really town. I'm like... tracks. I live down on Maple. Oh, the rich neighborhood. What? Um, no. Oh, sorry. I just meant it's nice. Huff, huff. Never mind, it's okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, calm down. Oh, she's like, having anxiety. I'm sorry, I get all weird sometimes. I'm sorry. Huff, huff, huff. I'll forgive you if you'd stop apologizing. Okay. The tracks are cool. Haven't been down there in a while. The train shakes my room at night. Yeah, in the winter I can hear it. One of my favorite noises. Well, you don't have to wake up with... bits of ceiling on you. Good point. Alright. I'm out. It was nice chatting. I'm here most days. Cool. See you later. See ya, killer. Ugh. So that's Lori M. Can I get up there? I can't make a triple jump that far. Or can I? Oh, don't want to fall down. Hold on. Man. Can I really not? Ooh, maybe I can, uh... I don't know. That's a, that's a risky jump. Oh, I can make it. All right. There's a cat up here. <laughs> Years ago, I thought when I was 20, I'd never be able to climb this high anymore. Shows what you know, little May. Thought. Roof cat is correct. Oh, you can jump all the way up here. <laughs> Not on that one, though. Oh, there's something in my eye. <laughs> my eye is, like, going crazy. Alright, let's, uh... See what else is up here, if anything. I don't think there is. Alright. So that was the town. Oh wait, there's more. I've never been to war. Not like the recruiter didn't try, though. Hard. Like, ten guys from my high school class went off to army. Gotta afford college some way or another. So yeah, that conversation with Lori earlier. Dang it, they're talking. You gonna run out and do this on your break? Shush. I think I'm gonna tell Nancy I'm sick. I can puke on command. Well, that's one way to do it. I got a change of clothes in the car. In case you puke on your regular clothes. No, I just want to look good for the interview. Good idea. I mean, it's Ham Panther. It ain't an art gallery in Paris. But I figure any leg up is good. I'm excited. So am I. I need to drink all this coffee so I got something to puke in 20 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, that conversation with Laurie on the roof. Um... 
you can tell like the difference or I guess you can see how like how oblivious um, May is about like just social awareness and like social cues because Lori was obviously like anxiety ridden and like lives by the tracks and it shakes her house and everything but May is just like I love the sound of that train in the winter when it rolls by <laughs> Whoa, who is this? I don't remember you. Hey. Whoa, hey. We got like the same shirt, but like opposites. Oh wow, what do you know? What's your shirt from? From? Yeah, is it like a band or something? Nah, I made it in home ec back in high school. I just like the symbol. It's a null symbol, right? I don't know. What's your shirt mean? Secret symbol of God's Wrestling League. Whoa, what's that? Backyard Wrestling. Whoa. Where does it happen? All over the place. Backyards, you know. How did I not know about this? It's secret, because illegal, I think? And people go to the hospital and stuff. That is awesome. This is awesome. It is awesome. Holy crap, I'm gonna look this up. See you there sometime. Uh, let's pop in and see if we can talk to Greg. Hey, May. Hey, Angus. How's it going? You were like the third person I've seen today. I know you've explained it, but I have zero clue how this place stays open. You'd be surprised. Band practice later? Gotta warm up my voice. You growl real good. Thanks, I'm a born growler. When I was a baby, I never cried. I just growled. I think I cried non-stop until I was like nine. And then I cried all the time and again starting at age, or starting at like 13. You had a good three years of not crying in there. They were really productive years. <laughs> so I guess our band is like a like a metal band since uh, Angus growls. What the? What? No! No, 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 no! Possibilities is gone! No more pizza delivery! No more Big Sal! No more special birthdays! Big Sal, dude. <laughs> this is the worst thing that's happened to this town. Since the flood that took out the mini golf ice cream place. Summer nights. Eating ice cream. Playing some putt putt. All washed away. I'm so freaking depressed now. Big Sal, why? Why did you sell possibilities, Big Sal? How about them smelters? Kicked some blue bear ass last night. Good game, good game. Gonna be a hell of a season, bud. Go smelters. Uh, did I miss anything in the tunnel? I don't think I did, but we'll check anyway. Oh yeah, we did. We definitely missed some stuff. Because this mural is of historical note, Molly. What what do we know? Well, sometime overnight, someone used bolt cutters on the gate and came down here. What did they use? A paint roller? Looks to be. 
says they intend to nuke Poss something. I think it's likely some kid. Saw one of the old Nuke Possum Springs tags from back when and got bored halfway through writing it. We need to treat this as a terrorist action. I'm sorry? This mural is of historical note. Alright, well, I'll round up any uh, terrorists I see. Round up any dirtbag teens or vagrants that have been hanging around town. Check out by the abandoned food donkey. They come off the train there. Already on it. Molly. Yeah? Find whoever did this. Okay. I want to see them hang. Oh, okay. I think at most they'd get a fine and some jail time. This was of historical note. Without this, I don't know if there's any reason to keep this place open. Yeah, Kathleen, we all know what you think. What, you think I wanted this? It's not like any of you had any ideas for this place. Kathleen, we are not going to put a rest home down here. It's just wasted space. And they're down here anyway at Trolley Side News every day. We are not putting our elderly in a hole. Yeah, Colleen. At least if we closed it, I wouldn't have to keep an eye on this place. Thank you, Molly. That's helpful. If you're all done, I got things to do. Hey, wait just a minute, Molly. Can I talk to you? Can't talk to you. All right. <laughs> Amazing to think these things used to run. Kind of amazing they're still down here, too. No way to get them out of here, I guess. This place sure was something a long time ago. So someone vandalized this mural down here. Whoa! Holy shit! The dudes! Someone hecked up the dudes! Who did this? Why did they do it? Thought, nuke Possum Springs. Oh, I guess the Chamber of Commerce left too. Alright. Well, someone got fed up with Possum Springs and wants to nuke the place now. I gotta, like, switch headphone ears, because my ears are starting to hurt. <laughs> hey, Jeremy? Jeremy Wharton? No one calls me that. Germ, right? Germ warfare. Oh, that's stuck, huh? Yep. That's an okay name. Your name is May. Yep. That's an okay name. Okay. Germ? Question mark? Question mark? He's mysterious. You were like a year behind me, right? Two years. So you're fresh out, huh? I hang out with Greg sometimes. We ride bikes. I'm pretty good at it. Okay. Yeah. What? I saw a rabid possum the other day. Really? Where? It was crawling across the road. Had it been hit by a car? Nah, just rabid. What happened to it? Got hit by a car. Wow. It was like... a poem. Okay. Nice to meet you, Germ. Go on the Snack Falcon and say hello to uh, Gregory. No cups on the ears today, looks like. Well, look who it is. Yep, alive for another day. How are you feeling? 
was feeling pretty bad, but I've gotten across town. And I don't know, that helped. Fresh air, or as fresh as it gets around here. Delicious. So what's up? Uh, I was just stopping in, gonna roll out. Later, brah. Alright. So we're actually gonna go say hello to... Beatrice. Miss Gothic Alligator Girl. After we read some more dialogue. <laughs> so, how did that arm get here? Someone just running down the street? Whoops, my arm fell off. I'll just come back for that later. No one could just survive their arm falling off. Or being chopped off. Like, not by a doctor. Is it still called assault if you chop an arm off? Seems like it should be a different word. Arm choppy. You are under arrest for arm choppy. Whoever's arm that was is probably dead. Nah, definitely. Unless I see someone walking around who until recently had an arm. Alright, anything else around here we can look at? Could hike out to the abandoned food donkey. I'm not going to hike out to the abandoned food donkey. Alrighty then. Alright, let's go say hey to B. And I uh, think we're going to do a band practice today. And I think we saw all there is to see around town. Could have missed a couple of things, but there's just so much to look at. You never know. All the way back to the old pickaxe. Here we are. Oh, it's you. <laughs> you got a job at the pickaxe. How's it going, dude? Got a job here. That's cool. Oh, nice. Actually, I'm lying. It sucks. Oh, geez. I had no idea there were so many kinds of hammers. And wrenches. And nails. My god, the nails. There do be a lot of stuff in the hardware stores. Hey, B. Yo. Sorry about last night. I get woozy on cold medicine. So I don't really know what I expected to happen. Sorry for what I said. You know, I don't really remember it much. So, whatevs. Hooray for alcohol. New town motto. Band practice later? Haha, <laughs> yep. I'm amazed it's still a thing. We were barely even abandoned high school. Whoa. The game, like, lagged there for a second. Eh, it's fun. Get to hang out with Angus. How did you even end up doing it? When Casey left town, Angus told me that Greg was really sad. So I volunteered to be the new drummer. Well, drummer. It's a laptop, B. It sure is, May. It sure is. I'll see you later. Got some work to do. Alright, so I guess we have to go talk to Greg to initiate this band practice thing. So let's go do that. I should have just talked to B first. <laughs> I mean, this game is set up for you to just go left the entire time, but... I don't want to miss anything. So what's up? We gonna head out to band practice?
Hey, Germ made it. Practice. Yes. I crashed my bike once and a broken spoke went through my leg. Jeez. It was kind of cool. Oh yeah, I can see that. All right, kids. I gotta head out soon. Where are you going? Family stuff. Oh, okay. Just for a night. Okay, are we doing this? Yeah, let's do this. Wait, I don't know the song. Like, at all. And I barely remember how to play bass. You'll be fine. I completely will not be fine. Zero self-confidence, huh? No, I just don't know the song. <laughs> you stupid jerks. All right, here we go, Weird Autumn. Oh. Had to get the rhythm. Ugh. Getting like car sick looking at this. We're doing good, we're doing good. What? Come on. Um, that was pretty much perfect. <laughs> uh, whoa. Yeah. All in a day's work. Oh my goodness. Oh, that took like 100% of my concentration. Alright, so we did Weird Autumn. Anything else to say? Hey, hey, Duder. Angus leaving for the night? Yeah, gonna be bored. Or rather, I would be if I didn't have plans. Plans? Crimes. Oh, crimes. You up for some crimes? Hmm. I might be hanging out with B. Let me check first. Cool, let me know. So how do I check with B if I'm hanging out? <laughs> Good practice. Was it? Eh. Alright, let's leave. Or I guess... I guess not. I guess we have to do crimes. <laughs> you up for some crimes? Oh, you have to jump up here. <laughs> you want to do something tonight? Um, I promise it'll be an improvement on last night. What were you thinking of doing? Uh, hmm. Want to go to the mall? The mall? Yeah, Fort Lucene. Like we did when we were kids. 
When's the last time you were at the Fort Lucen Mall? I don't know, five years ago? Yeah, uh... What? You know what? Yeah, let's go. Great. Yep, great. I promise, it'll be great. Okay. We sure we're doing this? Yeah, let's go mauling. Great. Glad I didn't puke in here. Me too. Maybe I just never drink again. Or maybe you just take it easy next time. I don't know if I do moderation well. I could see that. I think the term is risk-taking behavior. Are you seeing someone about this? Hanging with you is working pretty well tonight. No pressure. I should be getting paid by the hour. I got gum. I'm gonna turn on the radio now. Old Gods of the Fort Lucen Mall. Fort Lucen! Oh my god. Yep. What the hell happened? Um, the internet. We had the internet when we used to come here. What happened to the carousel? Sold it, I guess. Who buys a carousel? Nobody who comes here. What happened to the bookstore? Also the internet. What happened to the arcade? I'm going to make a sign that says, The Internet. And hold it up until you're done asking. Alright. So I think we're going to end the episode here. Yeah, we'll end it here, and when we come back, we'll finish uh, hanging out with B and explore this Fort Lucen Mall and see what we can get ourselves into. So, uh, as usual, thank you for watching my Night in the Woods playthrough, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.